Hi, I'm Di. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be a general collective reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus signs up to and including the 30th of October 2020. If you are an Aquarius, this reading could be for you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. It is a general reading. If you feel like some information doesn't resonate, um, I apologise if we can't get it all right for everyone um, as much as we'd love to. So let's have a look. What's the theme for our Aquarius, please? What is the theme? Oh. Okay, so we've got High Priest and Temperance. Spiritual balance, spiritual alignment, and we've got a lesson. Spiritual awakening, possibly. Um, learning and understanding what was trying to be shown, maybe. Someone didn't learn before, and there's a fresh start involved with the fall. There's a fresh start. Okay, so let's jump in. Let's use the archetype cards for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, up to and including the 31st of October. Let's see what they're going to show us here. Okay, so we've got something that maybe was a little bit rigid originally. Okay, so someone was maybe a little bit rigid with their approach to something. Maybe they didn't want to acknowledge something here. They didn't want to see it. They didn't want to know. They didn't want to sort of acknowledge what the truth may be. And I feel like spirit are trying to align them. Can you see with the bridge? It's like they're trying to be aligned here to become aligned with the truth. <clears throat> with the instinct. With the instinct. So as you can see here, we've got the womb, which is the feminine. Very feminine energy. And then we've got the stone, which is masculine. Okay, so you've got now a star, which is healing. Okay, so... There's also potentially could be some uh, menstrual issues that someone's going through here. Um, so if you're getting obviously that, make sure that you're looking after that area. It could be a sacral chakra block, which can be emotional issues, sexual issues and or inner child issues. Let's have a look. What is the theme for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs? Up to and including the 31st of October. What is the situation for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? So we've got the butterfly. So we've got something moving up to the next level. Recalibration. Look, here we go. Healing the inner child and growth. So there could be something connected to the sacral chakra there. Definitely worth looking into. And then we've got seduction. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. So there could be something karmic that's been closed out and is blocking the current energy maybe. Until that lesson has been learnt. Let's have a look. What else is going on? What else, please, is the theme? What else is the theme, please? For Aquarius. Up to and including the 31st of October. service I feel good when I can help others so are you extending yourself or maybe you need sort of extra time and care for yourself nurturing the self maybe you're an empath could be an empath energy bottom of the deck empathy so yeah apparently you're an empath so maybe your you know sacral chakra is being affected by this possibly maybe there's alert maybe you're recalibrating that energy maybe Let's have a look. Let's jump into, let's go with the Mermaid Tarot. Thank you to LK for the amazing deck. Okay, let's have a look. So, what can you tell us, please, for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, up to and including the 31st of October 2020? Someone feels so restricted. Someone is mentally in their head here with the Eight of Swords and the King of Swords. It's like they they can't figure out what they need to do. They're, they're again stone. It's this rigid, stubborn, fixed energy. It's ego. Um, if I do this, what am I going to get? It's that kind of thing. It's like, but what do I do if I do? You know, if I, am I getting equal in exchange and? We've also got the two of swords here, but it looks like a fight between the head and the heart. 
it doesn't look like i mean this could be two different people of course but and then we've got the ace of wands which is direct action being withheld and sort of blocked you know there's no kind of you know no move forward again we've got bottom of the deck ten of wands so there's someone feeling very limited here someone's feeling extremely limited um They, they're scared to give up what they've got because they've built themselves around it and um, they have to acknowledge what they built themselves around was not solid it's in fact the only thing that was solid was their mindset and that was it and it actually what they built around themselves was not helpful which is why this is taking them so long to acknowledge this is they, they don't want to again it's a fixed energy here they are moving into this king of cups energy which is the more watery fluid energy which to them is very uncomfortable it's a more feminine energy so they're shifting from a very masculine energy and almost kind of recalibrating spiritually and learning a lesson of emotional intelligence this is an emotionally um upgraded human being that prob probably was in very strong conflict between head and heart and so therefore couldn't make a decision but they are, they're about to. And I feel like the service to themselves and the empathy to themselves is going to be key here. Um, there's an awakening that I feel like it's the moon at the end of the month. Because they, they, it's an emotional void that they're in. They're in this very strong emotional void. Because they, they can't quite understand how to connect this um to them emotionally it's like their sacral chakra is in need of some work because of the inner child energy it's feeling of low being alone they because they're blocking their feminine energy they're not able to connect upstairs and if they could connect upstairs it would help them with this understanding that they're not alone They know if they actually succumb to this and let someone else in that they're extra vulnerable. They're afraid to do that. They're afraid to let this old way of being die. Um, so if they're still with someone, that person relates to their old way of being. And if they're still around them, it means that they haven't let that, that energy change in them. It's old patterns of behaviour, old belief systems, codependent behaviour self-sabotaging behavior look they're locked in a cage here and they can't get out it's it's their own limitations that are blocking this it's that uh, this is someone going through the dark night of the soul this is a shadow element that's being brought up to heal here um they're trapped within themselves and it's not because they're actually trapped it's a mental entrapment They've, like I said, they've built up coping mechanisms around the situation here mentally to help them cope. But what they've, what they're starting to realise is, is what they built up around them was, was not right. It was, it was um, not healthy, and so they're, they're starting to understand that and um, trying to understand how to move away from that without, because they feel like their whole world is moving with it, you know. we've got the king of wands so now we've got the king of cups the king of swords and the king of wands this is someone in their divine masculine raw energy it can be Aries Leo Sagittarius but it can also be someone who is an alpha someone that's a leader so again it's like they're freeing themselves from their own self-limitating beliefs and, and ways of being in order to liberate themselves and possibly a relationship 
to come towards what is theirs it's like an upgrade they're learning this though the only thing we haven't got is the king of pentacles which is again because uh, this is nine of pentacles so this is them learning their independence and sovereignty and empowerment here okay they're learning that at the moment we've got temperance for the second time so they're they're undergoing a spiritual transformation that is possibly showing in this reality we're in they're seeing more sides of the coin here if they they possibly had a very rigid belief system and a very limited viewpoint of certain areas of life and they're starting to become very aware that this is this has been limiting them <laughs> did you hear that i mean how could you not but did you hear that train for me that's confirmation that's how i'm taking that they have to work to to their um all sides of themselves they're before i think they probably relied upon logic way too much and it, it can't solve this problem so that's why they're trying to understand what this is we've also got here the queen of pentacles so they could have an existing connection around them that is can you see with the money that's a large rather large coin here it feels like a distraction to if i'm totally honest with you it feels like this energy has been a distraction for them and has kept them in this mental loop and cycle to be honest um and so it's why they couldn't shift maybe into these other elements because they were so ingrained into this more physical element here yeah look we've got the five of cups i feel like with this energy it's See, usually with the five of cups, we've got the, the three cups. Oh, yeah, there is three cups that's tipped out and then two upright. This person can't feels like they can't rely on anyone and that the person that they thought they could rely on building up this structure is totally not the person they thought they could rely on. And it's not that they can't rely on you. It's that they this person has built a life on a on a on an idea that is not real and they're starting to recognize that and it's starting to make them feel very uncomfortable because this is like it, it feels like it was that because that what they're thinking now is well what about this other person then are they illusion as well what is real and what isn't and it, it's not to say that you're not it's just to say that you challenge that even more because of the spiritual connection this has for those that i'm reading for we've got the ten of pentacles so they could also be in a pre-existing commitment or relationship as you can see they're all just staring at food I, I'm, I'm a bit confused why that would be They're all waiting to see what he's going to do. The light's being shed on the bounty here. That This person's starting to see that there are other options with this. They don't have to be in this energy. And But there's, there's a group, there's an audience here that's waiting to see what he's going to do. So this person, it could be friends and family, it could be work colleagues, it's a group or community, it could be a group of people around this person that is kind of seeing that they're not happy and they're waiting for this person to make a decision. Bottom of the deck is the Emperor. Again, this is Aries energy, but this is um, Neptune. This is strong Neptune energy, Pisces. There's a connection that you and this person have upstairs that they're starting to become aware of as well. They're starting to become aware of this connection as well. I feel like before they may have dismissed it, but I think that there's a spiritual connection or even telepathic connection that this person's starting to become aware of. Um, 
there was a conflicting energy as well with this that they're starting to close out because they they were so conflicted i think at one point about this connection and what it stood for that um they can't deny it it's getting to the point where it's like no the, my old way of it's not just a, a person they chose it's the old way of thinking it's the old way of doing that has to change and that involves another person as well because they chose the person on that basis and because that principle has been ruled out now and their their inner world has shifted it means that their choice of people around them is shifting as well um they're closing out huge cycles with this world card on the bottom of the deck they're learning very valuable lessons they're they're deciding to close they're cutting this off this is the queen of swords whoever they chose was again this is a logical energy this is not a warm nurturing energy this queen of swords this is a very cold energy with the four of cups it's like i'm just going to drink and then hopefully i'll forget about this you know it's it's that kind of vibration it's like i can't understand but then this is the thing because they've realized that this is the energy they invested in they know they have to change and it's not just this one person they have to change everything so what they're doing is they're starting to make a change of their outer environment ready let's have a look what else can you tell me please So there's definitely a defensive energy that they could be in at the moment where they're trying to keep people away until they figure this out. They don't they don't want people too close because at the moment everything is a possible confusion. So until they know what this means and that things get clearer for them, they're trying to keep everyone at a distance because they don't want to make the same mistake because they invested in something here that wasn't right. And they're starting to realise that. But what, you know, they're sort of recalibrating is the reason they chose it was because their inner world was viewing things in a certain way. But they still want time to kind of reflect on where they're going to be choosing their investment, what they're going to be investing in. What exactly they choose to keep, you know. What else can you tell me? They want balance. They, they haven't had balance before. They probably gave a lot to somebody and they probably didn't get it back. We've got the Six of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. They want something that is going to give them equal give and take. Because I feel like this person probably is um, not used to having that. I feel they could have over-invested maybe. You could have over-invested. But there's a lot of energy here. They're starting to pick. Because we have the Seven of Wands which we, we've just recently had, they're now going for that Ace of Wands. All right. So they're learning which action to take here and they're releasing their defences and, and between now and the end of the month, they're going to be making a decision here and, and it's going to be a balanced decision. It's going to be a head and a heart decision, not just a head and not just a heart decision. It's going to be, a, a, you know, a balance of both. So if you know this is your person, then you, you're going to know this is for you. And as you can see, these these pentacles are, pr are kind of almost protected, aren't they? In these bubbles. What's going to happen between now and the 31st? OK, clarify this card for me. They're choosing you the divine that and I'm, when i say you i'm talking about they're, they're going to choose their divine counterpart the person that they've been in around um that was very disconnected and very unnurturing very cold they can't be in that energy because it it, it compounds what they already feel and it, it's like it's two people that are just completely disconnected and it's made them it's it's reflected all that back to them very karmic so they're going to be breaking free from this from that again i can't guarantee every human being watching this video that's going to have this as an outcome but just be aware that the majority of you this will be from where i'm looking at will be the outcome now how do we know who's for who if you have um strong air in your chart this could be for you or they have strong air no if they have strong air in their chart this could be for you um because we got the, the swords out first um could have some water this person could have a water moon because of the the kind of um 
the, the, so, the sacral chakra energy. You could have Taurus in your chart here or Sagittarius or Aries. OK, there could be Aries, Taurus, Sagittarius energy here involved. And if that's not you, I'm getting strong Libra, but that's an air sign. So um, the, the other energy involved could have you could have a, uh, the karmic could have Earth energy or your person could have Earth energy, ascendant, moon, sun. Um They're not gonna. They're not gonna. They don't want to stay in this because it's 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 like a, a freezer of cold. It's like they're just they're completely left. They feel left out in the cold, and they're they're trying to rebuild with this nine of wands with this kind of wounded warrior energy, and they feel like they're walking up a mountain doing it because it's like it doesn't end. They feel like it doesn't end. Ace of Swords, but they're getting clarity that this is not working. They they're getting clarity. Can you see this? The um. The rope is still covering the sword. So they're going to pick. They can see it. They know it. But they haven't acted on it yet. Because when they pick that up. They're going to cut through the ties. With that sword. But they haven't acted on it. So they know what they're going to do. This person's made a decision. But they haven't acted on it. What's going to happen between now and the 31st of October please? What's, what's going to happen between now and the 31st of October? This cycle will close. They will close out the cycle with the world which is a completion of a lesson with the high font as well and there will be a probably a publicly announced um closure of this this will probably be publicly announced there'll probably be some level of awareness that people will have that this is the choice that's happening with this situation but this person doesn't want to be in this anymore because it's it's not they're not look they're just kind of observing that there's no warmth in this situation from this person's point of view and that's to do with the relationship they're in it's like they haven't acted because they're moving and they're shifting into a different energy but they went once they're at a certain point between now and the 31st if it's for you they will act because they're they're not i feel like they're not going to stay with this but let's look at the outcomes here what is the outcome this card's just come out for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, please. Up to including the 31st of October outcome, please. What is the outcome? Wow, you guys have got a lot to say. <laughs> right, what's the outcome? Let me get all the cards. Okay. Yeah. It's over. So the Knight of Wands is in reverse. This is unsettled energy. This is someone who they can't quite make their mind up. <clears throat> and that came out with the Two of Wands. So this is the energy they've been in. They, they, they didn't know. They were like, well, look, there's a smoking volcano there, but I wonder if it's going to blow. I wonder if that... So they knew they had a level of awareness before they came into this energy, this period, that there's something that they need to be acting on with this. But they, they have to wait a little bit more because they want to see what this is. All right, they want to see exactly what this is here. So they're waiting and observing. And that's what the energy has been in that, that you know, um, they probably also tried in amongst that time to offer their their emotions to this person. And again, it's a little offer, but it's possibly the only offer they could give based on maybe the healing they need to do. And then they decided, well, that's not working. So let me just let me keep giving this. This is now a bit more of an upgrade of energy. This is the Knight of Cups. So this is not quite the king, but it's someone putting in offers and emotional energy or an investment into a situation. They get to that point in the Knight of Cups and they think, well, I'm not going to upgrade to the King of Cups. I could, but what's the point? I don't, I'm not getting anything back here emotionally. I don't feel like I'm getting anything back in this situation with this Eight of Cups. So... You've got someone moving away here from the situation. And as you can see, the blue moon in the background, which we, we've got a blue moon coming up. All right. And so this is the energy they've been in is to sort of this this kind of look, I'm going to keep people away from me. I'm going to try and figure this out. And when I figure it out, I'm going to then act. All right. So this is someone that's basically trying to act, like make a decision based on the reality and, and I feel like the decision that they're making is that, that this is not 
an emotionally fulfilling situation that they're in karmically and so they're closing this out okay and you may ask well they're walking away emotionally but that does that mean they're going to come back because we don't see any endings here like this just looks like someone's walking away emotionally the bottom of the deck is this, the ten of swords so this to me looks like a final close and i don't see this is going to be renewed because it, it looks i mean look this is kind of intense it's like it's over it's over they've learned again the the outcome we said the theme was temperance which is spiritual balance and high priest which is lessons and then we saw the fall which is new beginnings now it looks like the new beginning is not around this person it looks like they're moving into a different phase what's the outcome please yeah so we've got the fall again clarifying that they're now in a, a new phase and they're going to be moving out of this old phase and they're going to move towards what they want this time they're not staying in a situation that they don't want with this horse that's being strapped down they're going to go towards what they want and they're going to move away from uh, anything that doesn't serve okay so again third party karmics you know moving away from this energy here this this total burden of energy that they've been carrying for way too long it's like they there was a total imbalance that they were giving too much there was no balance they weren't honoring their needs they didn't understand their needs so now that they're starting to understand that emotionally this was what was missing there was no emotion so now they're giving to themselves to then offer something else all right and now it doesn't say what they're going to offer and if they're going to offer it yet but it looks like they've got that on their mind here with this two of cups all right so it might not be we don't have ten of cups or anything so it looks like you know this could be a small gesture but they've made a decision they're going to make it they've made a decision they want to head towards someone that has got that long-term stability and success in all areas okay guys this is your reading for aquarius sun moon rising and or venus signs i hope this helped i wish you guys the best of luck um Watch me live Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 p.m. British Standard Time, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Psychic Saturdays on Twitch, link below, 11 p.m. British Standard Time. If you want to book a reading, email me. Information is in the description box below. Thank you, guys. Thank you for all your likes and your shares and your subscriptions and your support to the channel. Big thank you to LK for the deck. Bless you. If you want to uh, say thank you, the wish list is in the description box. Um, I really appreciate all your support, guys. Until next time, bye-bye.